Hey YouTube, um, I can't really sleep tonight. Um, this is Seth Marshall at Fitness. Uh, I got some news. Uh, last week I was in a bad car accident. I wrecked my Chevy Equinox. And I was following a friend to her house and A hydroplane didn't see in a corner on, on the road and I lost control of my car. I flipped it. Uh, all I want to say is that I'm just glad to be alive. No one else was hurt in the process of the wreck. I posted it on Facebook. I said I'm blessed to be alive. You know, blessed for another day. And because it's like this, you know, it's like this, you know, when you feel like you don't have a whole lot of friends, and then when I post all that stuff on social media about my wreck, a lot of my old friends from my old job. They posted a lot of positive things. Because they're still my friends. And, yeah, I don't get to see them in person anymore. But they're still my friends. You know, I still talk to them from time to time. I, you know, even though I've moved on to the new chapter of my life. Um, working at Mickey D's. Um, <laughs> do I own the restaurant? No. I say even though my last name is McDonald, McDonald, but it's without the S, same spelling, but without the S. And, um, but I got me a new car, like, four days later, um, Chevy Cruise 2015, four-cylinder, um, I mean, the car is really, really nice. I mean, it puts my Chevy Equinox to shame. And what I used to add a Chevy Equinox. And my life's been kind of going like up and down. You know, ever since my grandpa died, um, it's kind of kind of like been to like a spiral. You know, like because I'm trying to figure out things on my own and try to be a man in my own way and trying to understand things in life where some things I don't really understand. Um, yes, I have been drinking only at two um, so far. I mean, it's like two o'clock in the morning. I can't sleep, so I usually try to drink a little bit, then go to bed. Um, but I'm just too wired. Um, I think it's a full moon or something. I don't know. It's just, I just, I, I got off at nine. I said, that's the reason why I don't like working the night shift. Because it takes me a long time to sleep. And, but, that car accident kind of changed me a little bit. What I think about life in a way. And, Am I down about being in that car? No, I'm not. And most people will be down pouting and everything. Oh, poor me, poor me. You know, I'm not. Me and my mom had a heated argument. And I was in my mom's car. And we had a heated argument. And she was telling me that I don't have a life. Go figure, right? Your own parent telling you you don't have a life and you know you need to get up and do something about it. Well, I'm getting up and doing something about it. I'm making this talk video. But I was kind of thinking on what she said. And 
People do have lives. It's because they don't have somebody in their life, like a loved one, next to their side, or every day of the week, or if they're single, you know, if they don't have a lover on the side of their bed or whatever. Um, it doesn't mean that you don't have a life. You know, you could do things to make you happy. You know, you could do things to manifest in yourself. And, and that's the thing. And when I'm being positive about this, I'm not really trying to be negative because I'm being more positive in this video. I guess I only had two, two beers. I mean, yeah, it could be just the beer get to me a little bit. But. I was kind of like, been thinking on a lot of things ever since that wreck. Like, what could have happened, you know, if I didn't have a seatbelt on? And, it's just weird. And, My friend felt bad about it because I was following her and that's how I ran the car and because I was going over to their house and hang out with them. So I was like, okay, well I'll do that and then all of a sudden I had a wreck. She felt bad over it. She was trying to blame herself for it. I told her shit happens for a reason. I said, it's not your fault. And I said, it's more my fault because I wasn't paying attention. And I come to the conclusion, you know, sometimes in life you gotta pay attention to the moments that you have. And that taught me something. Because if you pay attention to the moments that you have in life, you're still have another day. You still have another day to live. And that's all that counts. You know, you can wake up out of bed every morning, be blessed. You know, be blessed that you can get up out of bed. You know, go do the things that you need to do to get done. And that you have friends and family that support you 100%. And whatever you do in life. And that's one thing I cherish. And my mom said, I don't have a life. I do have a life. Yes, I do. I have a house. I have my own home. I work so hard on it. I bought a car. My bird, my own car, without making payments on it. Now I have this new car I have to make payments on to my grandma because she bought it and because I didn't have the money for it. So I didn't really want to go that route but I had no other way and I just want to say that a lot of times in life you know life can be challenging. But it's how you deal with those challenges every day. And sometimes, yes, you know, some days, you know, I want to cry. There are days I want to scream at the top of my lungs. There are days I just want to punch somebody or punch something. Um, but I don't try to get into my that much. Um, a lot of people proclaim me as being calm and 
being a calm person, but they don't really know me all that well. It's because on how I, how I act calm is if you treat me with respect. If you treat me with respect, I treat you with respect. Respect goes both ways. And that's how you get people to hang around you more. If you show them respect. And my friend that I was following when I was in the hospital, she was there for me in the hospital the whole entire time. She would not leave my son. And it was just like shocking. And no, we're not dating. We're just friends. And we just had that connection. And um, but it was just it was just that I was blessed because. One of my other friends came to along with us. He showed up. He was there for me. I was blessed because he was there too. And they both didn't leave my side. And he stayed out of the waiting room, but he still didn't leave. And which, you know, you never know who your friends are. And, um,. And that's the thing. And you never know. And that's the reason why I'm always blessed with what friends I do have. And um, basically, you know, always, always count your blessings no matter what you do in life. Because me, you know, there are people that have more problems than what I do. You know, me, I had club feet when I was born. I was on life support when I was born. I had scoliosis. I had a knee pop, left knee pop out three times in a row. I had twisted ankle maybe like three times. Um, I got a bad right shoulder. Um, right now, it's kind of been bad due to the wreck. Um, but everything's intact. That's what the doctor said. So um, I may just have to go to the chiropractor, have to pop everything back into place a little bit again. Um, on it to make it feel better. But other than that, I mean, I was thinking really, really, really hard the other night. I mean, the other night I was at one of my, at my friend's house, hanging out with them, and I was just like, we were sitting at the bonfire and everything. I was just kind of like just sitting there real quiet, and they, I mean, I just went inside for a minute, um, and just sit there, just kind of like, I was trying to think on some things, and one of my other, one of my friends, one of the friends that I was hanging out with, um, she came in and she was like, well, is everything okay? And I'm like, are you, are you mad? I'm like, no, I'm not mad. I said, I'm just thinking. And I said, when I get into thinking mode, sometimes I like to be by myself. And, and I said, that's what I was basically, you know, thinking on. And it's like, I'm just blessed that I have friends. I have, I'm blessed that I have people that look out for me and that care about me. And, that, and that's the thing, you know, if you're there for your friends, and they're going to be there back for you. And that's the thing, you know, you got to treat your friends with respect. If you don't treat them with respect, they're not going to treat you with respect. And that's like I said before, respect comes a long way. And so does your blessings. And it all runs in the same category. 
Um, but the thing it is in life, to me, is always be yourself on who you want to be. And, you know, not to judge others on what they do, not to judge others on their bad habits or whatever. Um, yeah, some people do have bad habits. And it doesn't mean that they're bad people, no. I mean, those type of people probably give their shirts off their back to you. And me, uh, I'm one of those people that, you know, if you treat me with respect and have my back 100%, I'm going to have your back 100%. I said that's just how I am. And <laughs> that's how a lot of people don't really get me. And... Well, one other night, I was having a conversation with my friend, and I was talking to her about my problems, and she told me how it was, and, well, we went, she wanted to go uh, to the lake to look for house supplies and stuff like that for her house. And, because I've been helping her on her house, trying to get it done for her and everything. And so she, she wanted to look for, like, th things for her house to get. And she was telling me her ideas and everything. And I was just like, I just told her, I stopped her for a minute. And I s said what she told me. I told her, I said, thanks for being real with me. And she kind of looked at me like, what for? And, and I said, well, I needed that. And then she was like, no problem. She was, just, she was just shocked that I said thank you for it. And I said, sometimes I need that lift her up or when there's no one else around to give me a lift up. And, and that's the thing. And sometimes you just need advice from somebody else that will tell you how it is. And yeah, sometimes the truth may hurt you from what you want to hear, but it's on how you handle it and listen to it. And when you listen to it on their perspective, they're only looking out for you. And that's how I come to conclusion, conclusion on it, is that they're always looking out for you. Because no matter what you do, right or wrong, they will never judge you. I say they might say, I wouldn't do that, or whatever. But they will not judge you. Um, but other than that, I mean, I'm blessed to be alive today. Um, I'm blessed to be... Thankful for my friends, you know, I'm blessed for, you know, for my YouTube channel, uh, and my subscribers that I have now, and if it weren't for you guys, I still wouldn't maybe be making these videos. I know a lot of people don't really watch my talk videos, uh, but some days, you, you gotta take the moment, take the time to think, think about them to clear your mind and be you be who you are and what you're about and always treat other people with kindness and I I told myself this A long time ago. If you bring good into the world. Good. Will come back on to you. If you bring bad into the world. Bad will come on to you. And so. What I do. I try to bring good into the world. I try to bring good. By helping others. And being there for them. And. Me too, I ask for it in return. No, I don't. 
And me, it's like when they see that I don't ask for it in return, they respect me because they know I'm a real friend. They know I respect them as being as who they are, and they'll turn around and be there for me. Because I'm always there for them. And and that's the thing, man. You don't get many friends like that. And some of those friends come once in a lifetime. And that, that's the thing. And that's all I'm saying. You know, I'm just blessed to have friends. I'm blessed to have family. I'm blessed to be living today. And from that car accident. I didn't even barely even, I don't even know how I even survived it. And the only thing I had was a few scratches on my finger from it, fingers from it, little cuts here and there. Um, I had a cut on my arm, but it's healed. I'm a fast healer. I mean, like four days of cut on my hand or my arm or something. <laughs> Something it would it'll heal and fast, um, but injury like a strain or something like that it takes longer. But um, other than that, I mean my shoulders getting stronger. I've been doing a lot of like uh, goju rogues training from karate, doing the wax on. The lax off motion on tables at McDonald's um, to get shoulder strength back. Um, so I do different things to strengthen, even though I'm not 100% training as I used to. And but I always try to mimic like a Wax on, the wax off, or like sand the floor, or like to paint the fence, maybe. But um, what I'm saying is, even though you can use everything you do in martial arts, but I'm not talking about that. Um, My thing of it is always count your blessings on what you want to do because no matter what, it's your choice on whether you achieve it or not. And to me, I feel like I've achieved some things, but there's always going to be a setback. Every time when you have a setback, don't let it keep it down because things happen for a reason when you have that setback. And when you have that setback, you gotta figure out a way to get out of that setback. And fight for it. And that's the thing, that's what I'm trying to teach. And a lot of people don't really, really listen to my talk videos. And all I'm doing is trying to manifest my feelings my emotions into these videos and that's the thing and but when my mom said that I don't have a life that really hit me to heart and what I did I didn't say nothing back to her apartment on that day to her I went to my sister's room where her bed was, cleared everything off on her that was like hers. I she let me have a pillow where I could have something to sleep on, put my head on, and I just shut the door. I lay down to sleep. And that's just really how I deal with something that somebody says that hurts me. And it hurt hurt me in a way that People, people would say, and or either that I'll get up and train, but I couldn't work out of my apartment, so 
I didn't want her landlord to get mad because I was working at it. Mm. Uh, Huh. In her apartment. But yeah, it is like 2.29 a.m. in the morning. I have not yet sleep yet. And um, I'm really thinking about this going to bed. But I just had to get off what I had to say off my chest. And like I said, always be blessed on what you are and what you're about. And always be ha happy on who you are. And love yourself. And be you. And that's all you gotta do, is be you, be who you are, and who cares what other thing. And, and number one rule is, don't ever think the world evolves around you. And, because if you think the world evolves around you, It don't. It, it, it evolves around everybody. That's how I see it. A lot of people may think differently. But. I guess that's just how I stay calm and try not to stress so much. And. On things. It, it's because. Everybody says, oh, I'm so easy going. But the thing it is with me. Once you back me into a corner. I feel like I'm being back to the core. My evil side comes out. And I don't like to show that evil side. But I don't do nothing bad. But I become a jerk. And I don't like to become a jerk. And that's not me. I'm not a jerk. So it's like, you know, when somebody says, you don't have a life. And what it is, when they say that to you, is because they're jealous of what you have. Man, that was the only conclusion. That's the reason why I didn't say nothing to my mom when she told me that. And I was just like, all right. I said, I'm just going to just go to the bedroom and I'll just stay in there for a while and come back. So, and then I just, I just took a nap. So, there you have it. And I'm just, like I said, I'm just happy to be alive today. And, like I said, that wreck ain't going to get me down. And it's just, I just had to take a week, almost a week off to let this recuperate. From that wreck, and but other than that, I mean, it, it's strong now, it's better now, and it's hundred percent. So I'll probably get back to working out again tomorrow. Cause the doctor told me don't do anything, don't do anything strenuous or lift anything for about a week, and it's been a week. So since that wreck, so I'm gonna go with it. I mean, it's healed. Um, it still feels a little tight, but other than that, I mean, I'm just glad there was nobody around that wreck that got injured. That was, that was, when I had that wreck, I was glad there was no one around, no one behind me. Um, I'm blessed that I, I didn't get a ticket for it. Um, but I was on it. And another thing. Honesty comes a long way, and that's the thing. You know, honesty comes a long way too. I was honest to the cop. I said, "Hey, I was speeding a little bit, and I just didn't see that corner, and it snuck up on me, and I hide your plane, I lost control, and that's how my car flipped." And he was like, "Okay," and he's like, "You know, I." Thank you for being honest with me. I said you're being real with me, and I'm not gonna issue you no ticket. I mean, he was very friendly to me. I was very friendly to him. I always said sir to him. I showed him respect, and I even thanked him for him doing his duty. And and I shook his hand, and I went on my way to ER. Got checked out. Everything came back. It, um, I have a bump on my head from. 
the wreck, I guess. And they had to check me out for concussion and stuff like that, go through all the procedure. And they just wanted to make sure I was okay before they sent me home. And everything came back okay, so I was just good on that. It was just... That was the first real wreck that I've ever been in, and it's like this, you know. It kind of woke me up a little bit about life, you know, and for the longest time, I've never really been unhappy with my I've been unhappy with my life for the longest time, and when I had that car accident, and it changed me. And changed me into a different person. And it's like, okay. I really had some angels watching out for me. And I don't even know how I'm going to walk out of that alive. And so, I guess I'm just blessed. So, um, I don't know. It's just it's just weird. it's just a weird feeling because usually it's something like that. Most people never really really walk away out of that, and but I did, and I guess I knew what to do. And something just told me, man, I flipped over. Something just told me to let go of the wheel, so I let go of the wheel. Man, as it flipped over. And I had my seatbelt on. And so, if I would have hold on to that steering wheel, my arms would have probably been broken. Or at least one would have. Because uh, I have small arms and they can snap easily. Uh, but other than that, I mean... It is what it is. I mean, no complaints, nothing. But it's just, there are times when you just gotta live the moment. You know, you gotta be blessed with every minute that you have. And no matter what, and what life throws at you, it's how you get back up at it. And that's the main thing, is always go for what you want. In life and never back down and that's all I'm gonna say and please subscribe please hit the like I know I made this video a little too long the norm and I'll see you in the next video and please hit the like hit subscribe hit that bell notification and like I said I'm just blessed to be alive today I don't even know how I even got out of that situation alive and it's like the officer said, you know, you should have been dead at that scene. And he's like, how? <laughs> I'm like, don't ask me. <laughs> I'm trying to figure that one out myself. So, and so like I said, you know, be blessed. And always put good out in the world. And because... Good things will come on to you. And like I said, peace.